Hi. In this video, you will learn how to prepare a milling machine to use Iconside Milling Pilot. We cover equipment, licenses, and calibration for an automated differential milling process. For this video, we will show a milling machine from Vietgen, but the principles we show here apply to most of the milling machines. First, we check the needed hardware. The machine controllers are in the machine's cabin. The operator uses these to check the cut values while driving the machine. The differential milling solution uses a GNSS antenna, either an ICT60 or an ICT70. In case of poor conditions for GNSS signal reception, you can also use a total station with PRISM. We mount the antenna outside on the machine and place it within the width of the drum. We mount the icon controller on the side of the machine where the surveyor and side operator can check the values while milling. Next, we check the essential licenses. We use the cut and fill application from icon site and need these two additional licenses. Milling pilot, dual connection. The dual connection license is required to open up for the communication with the Vietgen 3D machine interface and run the milling pilot in automated mode. The icon controller communicates the calculated deviations to the machine's controllers, which then control the machine's hydraulics. Now we can calibrate the milling solution. Calibration defines the position of the GNSS antenna relative to the drum's axis and the machine's orientation. We start in the home menu of icon site and tap on cut and fill. Using the map handler, we access the foreman settings. Tap on icon type and change to the right machine. The load section contains the necessary calibration parameters for this particular machine. In this example, we mounted the GNSS antenna on the left side of the machine behind the cabin. We set the drum reference point to the left. When using a reference line, the offset shown on the map is the distance from the drum reference point to the reference line. The calibration only requires three measurements the line offset, and the left and right offsets. Let us see where to measure these. The line offset is the horizontal distance between the GNSS antenna position and the drum's axis. A negative value means the antenna is behind the drum's axis relative to the driving direction. The left offset is the horizontal distance between the GNSS antenna position and the drum's left edge. The right offset is the horizontal distance between the GNSS antenna position and the drum's right edge. These two values must be positive. We can calibrate a milling machine in several ways, and it also depends on which equipment is available. If we use the GNSS antenna, we just make the measurements from the GNSS antenna with the measuring tape. Using a total station, we can place a prism instead of the GNSS antenna and make the measurements with the total station. In the middle box, we define the maximum cut depth value. This is an optional parameter we can use where the required cut value may exceed the machine's maximum cut depth. When the actual cut value exceeds this maximum, icon site shows a warning message above the info panel in milling mode informing the operator that more passes are necessary to build this area. In this exercise, we leave the field empty. Now we enter the measured offset values. In this exercise, we measured the line offset to a minus 0.94 meters, the left edge offset to 0.32 meters, and the right edge offset to 1.67 meters. We tap on OK. That concludes the calibration of the milling machine and we are ready to mill the surface using the milling pilot. That's it. You have learned how to prepare a milling machine to use icon side milling pilot, including equipment, licenses and calibration. As the logical next step, 
you may want to watch a video about how to use the differential milling pilot in Leica Icon site. Thanks for watching.